So we have our 555 bistable circuit here. In it, I have my two 2.2 kilo ohm resistors and my 220 microfarad capacitor. Now, I want you to note that the light is blinking on and off at a fairly steady um, pace. So now I also am going to introduce two speakers to this. I have my speaker here with the built-in driver circuit and my speaker here without a built-in driver circuit. We're gonna discuss what that means here real quick. So if we look at my light, it's flashing on and off. So it's going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, and it's creating this, this very fixed, it's not fading in and out. Okay, it has a very precise on moment and a very precise off moment with fairly straight lines in between them. They're not actually, but we can pretend like they are. So this top one is called a square wave. And that is the sort of information that my piezo speaker, my piezoelectric speaker wants. It wants to receive a square wave going into it, telling it what, mount, what sound to make. That's a sound wave, okay, or it's equivalent to one with a piezoelectric speaker. So it makes sound with this bistable circuit because we're giving it a very set on and off. If I just plug it in right now with my positive over here and my negative there with jumpers connecting them, then it doesn't make any sound because the wave is too slow to be meaningful. Let's zoom in. Okay, so there's, you can hear some electrical noise when you plug and unplug it, but you can't hear any specific sound. If I plug it into the circuit with my blinking light here, If you're doing this at home alongside me, you'll hear just little slow clicking noises every time the light would go on or off. As you can see, it's stealing all of the current from the light and the light's not uh, going on at all right now. Now if we take one with the built-in driver circuit and do that same thing, It simply turns on and off with the light. That's because inside of it, the built-in driver circuit produces the square wave for it. So that is not what we want in this case, okay? That's super useful for when we don't wanna build this whole circuitry around because it's either on or off and we don't have to worry about producing that square wave for it. Okay, so now I'm going to unplug my LED because it doesn't work with my, um, my speaker that has the, doesn't have the driver built in. It requires more current, more power. I've plugged it in. Now we need to get our square wave tighter and that means we need to make the on and off pulses closer together. So in order to do that, I'm going to replace my larger resistor with one of my two smaller resistors. I'm going to start with my, my 33 microfarad resistor. Remember we're plugging it into the positive into the column 15 and the negative into the bus, the ground bus. 
Now my clicking is faster. I don't know if you'll hear that on the camera. But it's still not really a beep. That's more just an on off sound. So let's pull out my 33 microfarad capacitor. I might have said resistor earlier. I meant capacitor. And plug in my point plug in my point 1 microfarad capacitor. And now we get our beep. That's super annoying, so I'm going to take that out while we're talking. I can also plug back in my 33 microfarad capacitor and replace my resistors. I'm going to try a 100 ohm resistor, although I don't know if that will offer enough resistance. Looks like no. Try our 470 resistor. Oh, that's almost offering too much. We're back to our just solid blinking. Let's replace this other 2.2K resistor with another 470 resistor. making a much faster clicking sound, but still not what we're looking for. Let's try a 220. Even faster. Let's try another 220. Okay, so that's still a little bit clicky, but it's doing something different. So I suggest you go ahead and play with these and see what sorts of sounds you can make with your buzzer. Try, go ahead and try the 100 ohm resistors as well in different places. Try combining those with the 470. It might have been that our 100, it probably was that our 100 ohm was too far off from our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor and our wave was too wonky to be uh, useful. So experiment and see what you can find out.